Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls. My name is Ahmed, or Big Ak, and today we're going to be reacting to a video called Fusi Disowned by His Brother. Obviously, he's not disowned by his brother, but if you guys don't know who Fusi is, Fusi is a Arabic YouTuber who lives in the United States of America. He got famous and popular off of doing pranks back in the day. He's one of the original content creators on YouTube. And we found him very, very entertaining because he used to do these Arabic, um, like Arabic lifestyle videos and skits. And uh, it was really, really relatable to us. And we used to really, really enjoy watching him. I'm actually going to go ahead and play a clip from one of his old videos. This was 12 years ago. And this is from a video called Middle Eastern Parents. And uh, yeah. Phil. Okay. Brandon. Okay. Sam. Who else? This okay. is old Fusi. Crystal? <laughs> Yusuf, where did you go last weekend? To the movies, like I told you. Fatma told me she saw you at the movies with a girl. How does she even know me? I don't know who Fatma is. Do you have a girlfriend, Yusuf? <laughs> Yusuf, we are Muslim. We don't do girlfriends. No girlfriends in this house, none. Yusuf, what is wrong with Tamina? She has a beautiful family. She is very beautiful. She wears a job. She has a PhD in the Bachelor's of Science and the rejuvenation of the studies of science and all the sciences in the world. Yusuf, I got married at the age of 13. You are 21, far too old. You want to have baby? Too late. I don't want an arranged marriage, please. You pick out of this list. Maria, <laughs> Zakia, Fatma, Yasmin, John, Manny. Khadija, Arzo, Sharaf, Lahme, Nilab, Marwa, Stacy. What? She's like 14. True, but when you are 60, she will be 48, and that's okay. Not enough. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, guys. This right here, that was the old Fussy Tube. That's what we used to watch as kids. Very entertaining, very, very fun stuff. He ended up getting very, very popular, very famous. He ended up moving to California and he started meeting the wrong people, doing some of the wrong things. He ended up deeply into drugs and very depressed. He ended up giving his YouTube channel away, going away from YouTube, coming back, going away from YouTube, coming back multiple times. And now he is back and he is popping off on the internet and he has gained a large following. And uh, he's been live streaming 24-7 all day, his whole entire life, everything that he's doing. And uh, yeah, he's been doing some questionable stuff. He's been screaming things like, you know, Allah's on my side, I'm Muslim, I'm this, I'm this. And then he's doing things that don't really represent the religion of Islam or Muslims very, very well or himself very, very well. And it's sad to see, and I do pray that Allah guides him and helps him through his journey in life. And that he can find the help that he needs, not from human beings, but from God Almighty. And um, and yeah, let's get right into this and see what his brother has to say. Um, very interesting. He likes screaming everything to the public. So. Dude, I'm just sending this message um, out of concern. I can't verify it or know that it's true, and I hope that it's not. But just watching your... Twitches and your Instagram, I have a bad feeling. Less than a year ago, you said, less than a year ago, within a year, you were in the pits of the pits, so depressed, not opening your eyes, even to a point I remember when you came for Thanksgiving, you said, uh, Salah and Ibrahim were trying to play with you and you would just ignore them. That's how depressed you were and just slept. And then I had to talk with you and everybody had to talk with you and you felt there was zero hope. It was done. Your life was done. Your future was done. Everything was done. And I gave you a simple advice. I said, Yusuf, start praying. Whether you feel it or you don't feel it, just start praying. Because Allah promises, He promises that if you put a little effort, a tiny effort towards Him, then He will put more effort towards you. And you started praying, and I guess at first, you know, Allah was testing you, but then things turned around. Alhamdulillah, I think it's because of your prayers that you put in, whether they were consistent or not. I think you put enough prayers for Allah to give you another chance. Because I do 
so many chances. And then he started doing well again. Having been enough. I was praying for you in Sujud. Mama was praying for you in Sujud. Everybody was begging Allah to help you and give you another chance. This is why God is the most merciful. And this is why it is the most amazing thing ever. You as a creation of God can do the most outright disgusting and dirty things, cross God in every single way, shape or form. You can literally cuss God's name and when you turn back to God and you repent, He forgives you and He guides you and He, he does the things to make you better. Everybody. And you were too. So Allah accepted one of our duas and accepted your measly efforts because all of our efforts are measly. He accepted it. Maybe he accepted my dua, maybe he accepted mama's dua, maybe he accepted your dua, and maybe he accepted some of your prayers that you offered. And now I'm seeing you on Twitch and Instagram with half-naked girls all around you, in the car with half-naked girls in shorts up to their pussies, saying you're going to move in with them, hoping that was just a joke to get views, because you are not going to move in a house with girls you are not married to. You understand that? Because if you cross that line, Yusuf, I am not your brother. I have, to, I have to draw a line somewhere in the sand. And if you're that far gone, after all that giving you another chance, you're going to lose me as a brother until you come back. Okay? You're not going to move in with them. And next time you do anything, what do you think it's for views? I don't care if you have 100,000 live subscribers. That means shit to me. And it should mean shit to you. If you're getting to it with the wrong way, so real brother you guys. Ask yourself, every time you're gonna do something, every time you're gonna post something, is this gonna upset Allah or is this gonna make Allah happy with me? His brother is coming from a place that's not selfish. It's all about his brother. He cares about his brother. He cares about his brother's relationship with God, with Allah. And he's making it very clear, like his brother has no gain in any of this. If his brother wanted gain, he let Fusi do what he was doing, let him rack up a bunch of subscribers and make some money. And so that's not the case. Help me. And they know for sure they're gonna die. So they start praying and making dua to Allah. And God helps them. And they start promising them, like, Allah, if you just save us from this storm this one time and give us another chance, when we get back on land, we're not gonna do the sins we did and we're gonna worship you the way you should be worshipped. And they get back on land, they do that. Allah says, He answered their prayer, and as soon as they got back on shore, and as soon as they were saved, Always. they went right back. To their bad habits, to their bad deeds, to make money, to do whatever for their pleasure. SubhanAllah. And Allah says those are the ones who will be destroyed. Because they begged Allah for that chance when they were going to die. Allah, when they were at the pits of the pits like you were. And Allah gave them the answer. To A lot of us do this, especially me, myself. I'll ask God for specific things and I'll ask God for guidance on specific things. And then I'll go and I'll do the same bad deed that I basically promised I wouldn't do again. And I don't know what it is about the human being, but the human being is super, super selfish. And I'm going to speak for all of us, all human beings. We're all super, super selfish when it comes to ourself. Um, and I find it very, very interesting that when you're in a, a, a point of your life where you're dying or you're sick or you need help from God and you pray for that help from God and God gives it to you, you end up going back to your old ways. If not all of them, some of them. And it's very selfish of us. And he gives them another chance to make them successful and they went right back to what this is Allah. It's in the Quran word for word. Do not be one of those people you said. Do not be. How can let Allah give you chance after chance? There's going to come a point where your chances are done. Yep. And when you meet Allah, He's going to show you, Yusuf, you were so depressed, you were suicidal. You prayed to me and you started praying and I made you happy and successful again. And what did you do? Oh yeah, Allah, I started hanging out with half-naked girls and, and, and being the with them and saying I'm going to live with them so I can get 25,000 live views. Can you even picture, picture that? Imagine yourself, you should put yourself in that situation. It's going to happen. And when it happens, this whole life is going to be like it was a dream. As if it never happened. Like a dream. Like when you go to sleep right now and you wake up and you had a dream and you forget about the dream the next day, that's how this life is going to be. It's going to be like a dream that you forgot about the very next day. And when you're standing in front of Allah and He's asking these questions, there's no turning back. 
And Fusi, you're so lucky, man. There's only pain and suffering and regret for eternity, man. I'm saying this because I love you, and it hurts me when I see my brother who I love do what he's doing and slipping up. And it's okay to slip up. It's okay to slip up. It's okay. Everybody says, I'm the biggest sinner here, sir. I'm the biggest sinner. I slip up just as much as you. But alhamdulillah, I keep it secret between me and God. I don't expose it to the world. No one knows my sins. No one knows my sins except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I keep sinning and I keep messing up and I go back to him and I cry and I'm okay. sure and I beg him to give me another chance. That's what we do, you dog. So the super chat that just came up. Obviously, you don't have a brother, man. You don't have a brother that cares about you, Mr. Super Chat Donator. He's not an a-hole. He cares about his brother. He cares about his brother, not just current life and current feeling and how and how he's going to perceive things. He cares about his afterlife. He cares about what happens to his brother when his brother dies and he goes back to his creator and God is questioning him. He wants the best for his brother, especially someone who's at this type of status, who's this famous on the internet, who has this much influence over over kids and communities. No one has people like this around them. Most famous people, celebrities, singers, actors, YouTubers, they get into drugs, they get into bad the bad communities, they end up with, with friends who are poorly influential, and they end up in very, very, very bad places. They blow all their money, they become drug addicts, they die early, they just do things that end up harming them, not just in this life, but the hereafter. And this is a true brother, man. This is someone who cares about his brother. Subhanallah. You're so lucky, Fusi. Wallah, you're so lucky, man. You're so lucky to have a family. The way that your family is, as harsh as they sound, you're a man. You can take it. You can handle it. You could run around and cause the havoc you're causing now online, and you could definitely handle what your brother's saying to you. He's not an a-hole. The dog is like, dang, stop it. Fusi man, he's right. Fusi man, he's right. Habib, especially right now, the Islamic community, the Muslim community is huge on the internet. You don't need to do these devilish things to get views and to make money, bro. Allah. Yeah. His brother's Allah really about it. Please, Yusuf, please stop and check yourself. Okay, the voice one was over. Are you gonna speak, Fusi? Like Yalla, speak, say something. He's reflecting, like it's 100% true, bro, and his brother's talking to him. This isn't some guy on the internet typing and texting in the chat. Like, this is his blood brother who he grew up with, who knows him better than himself. Like, listen to your brother, Habibi. You know he's right. Please, Fusi, please, Yusuf, if you ever hear this video, I know you're never going to watch this video. You're never going to hear this. If you do, please, Habibi, please, just control yourself a bit. No one's asking you to become Sheikh Fusi. 
you know. But control yourself a bit, bro. Be careful what you're showing people online when you're screaming, I'm Muslim. And you, you're literally smoking a blunt, a, a four gram blunt in your mouth. You're like, I'm Muslim. And you're like spitting at people and doing some crazy, some crazy stuff. You can't be doing this, man. Like reflect, your brother is 100% right. And uh, you're lucky to have a family like this. Well, you're so lucky to have a family like this. Like the original video that I showed, I showed in the beginning. That was what made you famous. Your pranks, your 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 very relatable, easygoing content, the stuff that's actually funny, not the stuff that's destructive to society, not these women, not the drugs, not these things, not the clout. You know, where where you do some smack someone up, or you act like a boss, or you do these things. To get content and to get clout, it's not worth it, brother. Wallah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I grew up watching you, and the things that I see you doing now is very, very, very off of what what made you who you were, what started you from the beginning. And I know you're not going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Just like in a year, I'm not going to be doing the same thing over and over and over again. But brother, make sure that you're not doing the wrong things. Like You don't jump from doing something that's good and positive to something that's bad and destructive and not just for society but for your own self because if you're not in the right mental state if you're not in the right physical state if you're not in the right spiritual state then you're not just going to damage yourself you're going to damage every single person around you what your brother is saying is 100 percent accurate it's 100 percent true i don't think it came off harsh at all subhanallah and god bless you and god bless your brother and god bless your family thank you so much for everything that You've done for the YouTube community, especially back then. You put Muslims on the map. You allowed us to feel comfortable in a space where we weren't comfortable before. When 9-11 happened, the whole internet kind of blew up in 2007, 2010. You started doing your content. It helped Muslims get out of that zone, that, the zone where they didn't feel accepted in the United States of America. They didn't feel accepted online. You pushed a certain narrative and you let people into our culture, into our community, into our religion. And you taught people who were afraid of it or discouraged by it about it. And you brought them into it. And you brought it, them into it in a funny way, in a comedic way, in an entertaining way. And God bless you for that, bro. Literally, God bless you for that. Thank you for what you did in the beginning, what you have done for the YouTube community, for the Muslims, for the Arabic people, for every single person on YouTube, Arabic, not Muslim or not. You've pushed content creation to the next level. And I truly, truly, truly do appreciate that, Fus. And uh, yes, anyways, guys, if you appreciate this video, if you like the video, if you want to check out Fusi, I'll put his links in the description. God bless you guys. This was an amazing video. God bless his brother. God bless him. And we'll see you next time. Yalla, peace.